Chris Carnegie says it's a double standard. Liquor and nudity can't mix in bars, but in the arts, they can. Carnegie used to run this Saskatoon bar, but the Liquor and Gaming Commission suspended his license. It's at the bar featured a male strip show. Carnegie says men did take their shirts off, but that's it. The fringe to me, just it just made the point that, wow, other places can have full frontal nudity, but we can't even have men in boxer shorts. Carnegie's upset with this play. It's being performed at this year's Fringe Festival. It features a naked man on stage for about 20 seconds. There's nothing pornographic about it. It is part of the play. It's part of the theater. I'm upset that three, four years after I was charged and lost my license, it's still going on. The nudity isn't the problem. The alcohol is. The play is being shown at a bar. The audience can drink while watching the show. According to the law, nudity isn't allowed in places that serve liquor. The Fringe says it didn't pay much attention whether it was breaking any law, but it chose to run the play at the Wash and Slosh bar for a reason. The play is aimed at adults. Since it's showing at a bar, no one under 19 can come watch it. Right now we are investigating. That is the stage that we are at, and as I said, the next step will be to examine the results and then to determine the action that we'll take. I mean, obviously the Saskatchewan Liquor and Gaming, if they walked in and said it's over, it's over. There's nothing we could do about it. But it's likely the show will go on, despite any investigation. The play has just two more performances at this year's Fringe Festival. And that upsets Carnegie even more. He says it goes to show what he's been saying all along, that his bar was singled out. Pia Chattopadhyay, CBC News, Saskatoon.